DNS Global Name Zone. If those of you listening to this video now have been around Windows domains for a while, you'll have no doubt run into that wonderful service we call WINS. And yes, I am being a little sarcastic, WINS really never had a lot of fans, but it was a required service back in the day for resolving NetBIOS names. Thankfully, today, in modern versions of Windows, it's possible to do away with WINS entirely unless you have old software or hardware lying around that are hard-coded to use NetBIOS for name resolution, or some of you just like the fact that WINS makes it easy to utilize single static name records for commonly used servers, like perhaps your intranet server, so users can just simply enter in the name of the server into their browser and have the name resolved without having to type in the full server name. Now if that sounds like you, then WINS is likely to stay around for a little bit longer. Well, that was before Microsoft introduced a new feature of DNS into Windows 2008, the DNS Global Name Zone. The DNS Global Name Zone allows us to utilize DNS to handle this name resolution so that we can gradually migrate over to using DNS only. Now, it's not a complete replacement for WINS since it can't handle records that are dynamically registered in WINS, but it can help when you simply have static names that you need to be resolved. When we have a single name that we want to resolve, DNS clients append DNS suffixes to try and resolve the names. So let's say Fred here has a computer on the newyork.winstructorlab.com domain and he opens up Internet Explorer. And then he types in intranet, he's looking for the intranet server on his network. His computer will add to that name a list of domain suffixes that it knows about, for example those that are configured in group policy, and then it will send out a query to each of those addresses to try and find the correct server. Now the global name zone isn't something that's enabled by default, so if you do want to use it, we'll have to enable it first. So the first thing we'll need to do is to enable the global name zone, so we'll go and click on start and we'll open up a command prompt and we'll type in DNS command followed by the name of the server that we want to configure this on, which is DC01 in this case, which is my domain controller. Then we'll add in the slash config switch and then followed by enable global names support and notice there are two S's in there, names support, followed by a one to turn that feature on. So we'll hit enter and we can see our command completed successfully and now we'll go and open up our DNS console by clicking on start. We'll go to administrative tools and we'll launch the DNS console and now we'll right click on our DNS server here, DC01 and then we'll choose to create a new zone and we'll click next. Now this is going to be a primary zone so we'll leave it at the default here and we'll click next again. Now I'm going to choose the top option up here to replicate this zone data to all DNS servers in our forest. That way it'll create a new Active Directory integrated zone which is going to be stored in the forest wide DNS application partition. So we'll click next. We'll be creating a forward lookup zone so we'll leave the default there and click next again. Now for the zone name we'll need to enter it in as global names although the name itself isn't case sensitive so you can make it all lowercase if you like. Now we'll click next and then we'll leave the rest of the defaults as they are and we'll click next and then click finish. Alright if we expand our server here and our forward lookup zones you can see here that we have our global name zone if we select that all that we have inside here is the start of authority record and a name server record at this point. So to add a record to this zone, we'll go back to our command prompt and let's say that this server dco1.winstructorlab.com is a name that we want to add to our global name zone. Now ordinarily, if you wanted to ping dco1, you'd have to type in ping dco1.winstructorlab.com or we could just ping dco1 and DNS would resolve the name. But let's create a new record so that we can ping this server by just pinging the name dc. So we'll enter in. DNS command again and since we want to add a record to our global name zone we'll use the record add switch followed by the zone name which of course is global names then we'll need to enter in the name that we want to resolve and that'll simply be DC in this case and of course this is going to be a C name record that points to the server which is really called dco1.winstructorlab.com now we'll hit enter 
And we can see there that our record was added successfully. But if we try and ping DC by itself, you can see that that's not going to work because the local DNS cache on this machine is preventing us from resolving the name. So I'm simply going to type in ipconfig slash flush DNS and we'll hit enter and that'll flush our local DNS cache. And if we now ping DC again and hit enter, we can see that this now resolves the hostname dco1.winstructorlab.com directly. Now you might also notice that if we type in nslookup, if I can spell that correctly and add in DC, you can see down here that the name of the server is actually dco1.winstructorlab.com but it is resolving as an alias to dc.winstructorlab.com and the great thing is we've been able to utilize one of the best features of WINS without even touching WINS at all. This is all through DNS. Although what we've done here works fine, remember that the real purpose behind this new feature of Windows 2008 DNS is to help you migrate over from WINS. So if you're planning to get rid of WINS altogether, or you're only running IPv6 in your network, then you won't need to create a global name zone since you'll only rely on DNS anyway. And besides, we could also simply create a CNAME record in our primary zone in a domain to resolve a single name address like we did with DC a moment ago. However, when we're dealing with a lot more domains, using the global name zone is a more scalable solution. In this video, we've talked about the new global names feature of Windows 2008 DNS, which allows you to utilize static names in your environment whilst you're migrating over to a DNS-only network. Wins is on the way out, and if you're able to do away with it altogether, then that's great news for you. However, if you still need the static name resolution that Wins provides, you'll probably find that the global names feature of Windows 2008 DNS is a better way of releasing you from the struggle of using WINS without having to lose the ability to use static names, and that's good news. We hope you've enjoyed this video, and we'd like to thank you for supporting WINSTRUCTOR.